Las Vegas. You win some, you lose some, but the architectural industry is definitely winning big this week. I'm Ellen Rogers, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine, here at the Las Vegas Convention Center for the American Institute of Architects 2019 Conference on Architecture. We're checking in with glass industry companies to learn about some of their newest launches. For Guardian Glass, this year's show is heavily focused on birds. We talked to Sarah Wansack to learn more about the company's bird-friendly glass and the interest it's generating with architects. So we have been working very diligently to develop a product that is um, invisible to humans and uh, visible to the birds. Birds see in the UV spectrum, humans don't. Um, so this is the solution that we've come up with. It's a stripe pattern that's visible um, to birds or in the morning when there might be moisture or during rain. Definitely the UV solution has um, generated a lot of interest simply because it is not visible. I mean, between the U.S. and Canada markets, there's over a billion birds that die yearly um, from, you know, collisions with buildings. Vacuum insulating glass, or VIG, is another new product for Guardian. While it was a soft launch last year for the company, Greg Kimena told us it's now fully available and being used in projects. So in the past years since we've done that first announcement, we've installed you know, three or four pilot projects that are in the, in the process of installing a full, a full project in Colorado today. The key thing we want them to know is VIG gives you new options over what you current, the current market with triples and doubles. So for example, this VIG here is a single eight millimeter thick piece of glass that has our values of upwards of 12. We also have the ability to do what we call a hybrid, where we take the VIG, put it as an interior light of a one inch IGU. So it allows you to take a double I IGU, turn it into a high performance triple. In the residential window market, blinds between the glass have been around for years. Now recently, Integral has been making a move to bring these products into the commercial market. Jason Thomas told us about what's been driving the interest and in growth among architects. Well, we're trying to educate the architectural uh, world about the availability of products manufactured here in the United States uh, that are uh, you know, blinds between the glass and shades between the glass. The big thing that we hear from people is the realization that this isn't just a residential solution. It gets into quite large airspaces. It gets into uh, full blackout. Uh, it even gets into LEED and Green Build certified products that can be an energy saving device as well as an automated device that can tie directly into a building management system for energy management to decrease overheating, to increase and improve daylighting. So we're getting a lot of interest and we're trying to promote that this is a device that can give you that design capability and the energy savings. AGC Glass Company North America is another glass company at the show. For them, part of the focus is offering architects ways to use back-painted glass to add visual color and interest. As you know, there's more and more glass today going on the interior of, the, of uh, commercial buildings. So take our Lacquer Belt Tea and Matalac Tea product, for instance. With it being a temperable product, it can not only be used on the interior space, but it can also be used on the facade. And it has uh, colors that have been developed by designers that are trying to capture the most recent trends. So architects and designers are looking for more and more neutral colors for the exterior of the building. And so we've recently developed what we call Majestic Gray, which is a more neutral gray color. And the response to this product since we launched it has been fantastic. It gives that flexibility where uh, in the past it's been more of a dark gray option. And more and more architects and designers want to not only show what's going on behind the glass, and this gives you the ability to have that aesthetic appeal, but also have a very unique uh, aesthetic look as well. For many companies, finding ways to work with architects to create unique designs is an important priority. We talked to Mike Turner with YKKAP to learn more about how they're doing just that. This year we're really focused on helping architects understand you know, the, the way that we can adapt our standard products into some custom applications. This is an example here that we did in Nashville where the architect was challenged with curvilinear designs. Um, we have a standard uh, window wall system, uh, but we were able to really rapid prototype through 3D printing an angular mullion that really customized for the need of you know, what the architect was trying to do. So moving past that, we did sketches, uh, we did some design proposals, 
And ultimately, we were able to deliver the, the requirement that the architect had, which was the curvilinear design. Uh, same goes for other products. You know, our engineering center has the capability to really evaluate what the architect's needs are, and we can work with them through proposal drawings to adapt our standard products into those systems. This year's AIA Conference on Architecture is packed with great information and knowledge. We'll have even more news from the show in our final newscast next week. Stay tuned to usglassmag.com for that, and also follow us on social media for updates. And if you're here at the show, stop by and see us in booth 7510. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellen Rogers.